So first, one thing I have highlighted that this best practice system can be used in your, uh, this best practice system can be used in your discover phase. When you just want to discover whether this SAP is the right system or not. If you are existing, don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest SAP videos. Uh, uh, SAP client and you want to explore through the Fury, you can use it. If you are, let's say you are working on uh, Microsoft Dynamics and you want to switch to SAP or you want to take a decision whether we should to switch to SAP, in the discover phase you can take that best practice system and you can play around. Your user can play around with that system. For that purpose it can be used. In the explore phase, there is a huge use in the explore phase. Now this would also be linked when I will be discussing agile, you would also see that introduction of best practices also has a very strong link with the agile methodology. In the explore phase, we said that our, uh, we would be having a fit and gap workshops, right? Now in this fit and gap workshop, the expectation is that we will not be going with the presentations that and showing that how procure to pay happens, how a purchase requisition would be created, how it will get approved, how a purchase order would be getting created, how it will get approved. The expectation is we will be going with the system in this workshop, a ready system and we will be doing end to end scenario. in front of business. So rather than going through a PPT deck showing that how SAP process is there and how it would be happening, now the expectation in Activate is we will be going with the system and consultant need to show that system to the clients that how the end-to-end -end process will actually happen, how the actual process and the screens will look like from the Fury so that it can be a better fit and gap workshop. The requirements which will be coming after seeing the process would be a better requirements okay so that is basically the expectation so in the fit and gap workshop it would be used uh, to do the demo and then you you can also give access to the key users in the explore phase itself because the system is ready if you want to so it, it is not like that we are doing this first time with the activate we have not done it before we have done it before also but earlier what we were used to do it that to do that we were used to prepare a system we were used to do some end-to-end -end configurations and uh, uh, setting up some basic master data so that doing that and making it ready for uh, to, to do some brief demo to the system takes uh, you know that couple of weeks of time or sometime uh, around three weeks of time now here if you want to give a quick demo to the system the readily system is available all the master data and everything is available even you can give access to the key users during the explore phase that the standard scenarios which we identify that it's uh, very much near fit you can give access to the and uh, key users and they can explore the system and they can run the system by their own with the standard master data and with the standard configurations okay so for that purpose also it would be heavily used during the explore phase now to use the system as we say that in discover phase your client or the business can go ahead and use the system. Now to use that system, although we are saying that there would be uh, uh, configurations, there would be master data, there would be uh, 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 model company and everything would be there, but still if a business users are using it or the key users are using it who are not consultant, they will require some handhold. Okay, so they would require some better document they would require a step-by-step -step guide. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest SAP videos. So SAP has also gone ahead and they have very beautiful documentation available. 
So the documentation is available in the best practice explorer. Here all the documentation related to the best practice is available. And in this they have also given test scripts. Test scripts is a kind of a spoon feeding which has been given. We are basically step by step process for each business scenario would be available. It would be given that which Fury application we need to use it to use particular Fury application, what role access we should be having and where we need to click in the Fury application, what plant we need to enter, what material we need to enter after putting the stuff, where we need to click, which application next we need to go, what documents would be generated. That very detailed step by step documents are available and it's available in word format. So you can also use this test script to first use for your discover or explore phase and later on you can take it as a reference and you can also modify it for your integration or UIT testing, those test scripts. So those test script, so SAP has given you the configuration, master data, a system which has both configuration, master data, enterprise structure. On top of that, they have also given you a guide which you can read and after reading, even though you would not be knowing SAP, after reading, you would be able to execute your scenarios in this best practice system. Okay, that also has been given. Apart from that, SAP has also given standard PFDs. What is PFD? PFD is process flow diagrams. So standard process flow diagrams are also available which you would be able to use it and those process flow diagram would be clearly defining that what is the standard business process from SAP and then business would be able to modify in the FitCAP workshop and add their own steps to customize or add their own step to enhance it. So those are the things which would be available from the best practices. So best practices is a combination of a system plus documentation.